What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I wanna to show you guys how you can take any logo and vectorize it so that we can bring it into programs like After Effects and be able to scale it up and have no type of fringes on the side. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first, I just wanna show you guys an example. So let me open up my folder and we have the Twitter logo here. If I right click and come down to properties, you can see that it's a PNG. And if I bring this PNG into like After Effects, and then I'm just gonna come down here and make a new composition. And I'm just gonna leave everything at default. It's 1080, we're at 30 frames per second. That doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna click and drag the Twitter logo into my scene here. And maybe let's add like a background so we have a little bit of contrast here. So yeah, this one looks pretty good. This orange one, I'm gonna click okay. Then I'm gonna drag it underneath the Twitter logo and I'm gonna click on my Twitter logo here and click S, that's a shortcut to bring up the scaling. And if I scale this up, you can see as we scale it up, it's starting to get fringes around the side and that's because this logo is rasterized. So if we really start to zoom into it, we're getting all types of fuzziness around the edges. So if for any reason you want to use this for like a transition or have it larger up on your screen, it's gonna look really bad here. But if we use Adobe Illustrator, we can actually vectorize this logo. So no matter how big we make it, it's always gonna be clean along the edges and you're gonna have a very nice logo in here. So let me open up illustrator here and i already have the twitter logo dragged in here and if i zoom in here on the keyboard so i'm just holding down the left control and hitting the plus and minus on my keyboard and it's bringing us in and we can see as we zoom in here we're starting to get those fringes along the edges there like right now it's rasterized that's why it's not giving us these clean edges and so if i click on my logo here and i come up to image trace right here at the top where it says convert images into tracing objects. That basically means it's gonna vectorize it for us. So if I click on this, and then you can see we have a white box and that's because we need to tell Illustrator exactly how we wanna vectorize this. So if I look over here, we have a box named image trace. And if we don't see this box here, you just have to come up to window. And right here where it says image trace, you just wanna click that on and that's how you'll find it. But let me move this more over here so I can see it better. And then from here under presets, we just have to mess around with it until we find something that we like. So maybe I'll come over to 16 colors because it's just a simple blue. And you can already see that we're getting our Twitter logo in here. And from here, it's just kind of dialing in these attributes. So I'm going to click on paths and I'm just going to move this over to the right a little bit. And you can see that it's kind of giving us a better formation on our logo here. And then our corners, if I move this down. And it's totally just, you know, it matters on what type of logo you have. So you might get different results depending on what you're using. Then for noise, sometimes if you drag it to the left, it gives you better results. If you drag it to the right, it might smooth it out for you. So you just have to play around with these three attributes here. But the one thing too is like, if I click and drag this around, take it outside of my artboard, you can see that we have a white border around here. So let me hit Control Z, bring it back to the middle. And we don't want this white border to be vectorized with the logo. So right here under options, you wanna click ignore white. And there you go. So if I drag this up, now you see we have an alpha channel in there. And so if you don't have the ignore white function in here, you just have to mess around with these methods right here. So if it doesn't show up and like sometimes this is grayed out, I'll click on the other one, one or the other, and then this will be available for you. So let's say that we're happy with the way that we have our logo here and we're ready to export it out as a vector. It's as easy as coming over to at the top here where it says expand, you click on this and now we have splines all around our logo. So if I come over here and click on direct selection, you can see now that we have points all around our logo and that means that this is vectorized and this is ready to be sent out to After Effects or whatever other program that you have that will be able to use vector files. And so I don't like having all this negative space around my logo. So what I usually do is I'll come over to object and where it says artboards, I come down to here where it says fit to artboard bounds and you click on that and that brings everything in nice and tight around our logo. It's just something that I like to do just to kind of clean everything up because depending on the program that you're using, sometimes it's gonna bring in all that negative space. And so this is a nice way that we can make sure everything's nice and tight around our logo before we save it out. So now if I come up to file, come down to save as, and then let me come over and I'm just gonna save it to one of my drives here. Let me make a new folder, name this one AI. And then I'm just going to leave it here, Twitter logo blue, and click save. And then I'm just going to leave it as Illustrator 2020, click OK. 
So now that I'm back in After Effects, I'm just gonna come over here to my project window, hit Control I on my keyboard for import. Then I'm gonna find where I saved it at, which had already opened it up in the folder. So the Twitter underscore logo underscore blue, this is an Illustrator file now. I'm gonna click import. And then right here, I'm just gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna click and drag this into my composition. And I'm actually gonna click the eyeball here to turn this one off. And now we can see that we have our vectorized logo in here. So let me click X on my keyboard when I have this selected to bring up the scale. And I'm gonna drag it up. And you're gonna say, hey, you know, we have these fringes around the edges still. It's a vectorized logo. Why is it doing that? And that's because we have to tell it to continuously rasterize this logo here, which is this little star button here. So if I look next to this guy that's peeking over the window here, if I click on this, now we get clean edges here. So no matter how much we scale it up and scale it down, it's gonna be continuously rasterized and it's gonna be clean. And we could use this for alpha channels or if you want to have it like really large in here like this, I mean, this is how you're gonna have your logo nice and sharp. So hopefully this tip helped you guys out. If it did, I would appreciate if you guys subscribe to the channel, give me a big thumbs up. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon, take care.